Foraging with Wood Chips and Bark, William Hovey Smith, 2016. I am the author of Backyard Deer Hunting and also the owner of a new company, Hovey's Knives of China. And in the process, we built us a small homemade forge. I've also salvaged some wood from an old pile of rotted pecan, and I'm using some waste wood and bark to see if we can do any useful work with the forge using that as a fuel. In our forge, with its clay and sand on the bottom, a little charcoal left over from previously, and we are going to make a fire. A little starting paper in here. Dump in our dried waste wood products. Dig down and find a little piece of paper down in here again. Oh, you're in there. There you are. Make a little cone. We open the door on the bottom to get a little updraft through it. And we light it. Feed a little stuff. Leaves and stuff. Now we'll go and put some air to it. Now we can give it a little air. Check on it a little bit and see if we can get it hot. Our wood has very quickly been reduced. So now, we left with very little indeed. And in fact, are working with charcoal. But much less than if we started with a pot full. Now we'll see if we can straighten some metal. Yes, we have. Our heat source is now almost all gone. We've just got a little bit left here in the bottom. Get another second heat here. Finish the job.
trim it one piece of straightened metal. Now we'll give it a quick. And as a reminder, here is what we started with. And this is the result obtained. Yeah, we actually straightened it. For now, this is Hobie Smith reminding you to hunt what you eat and eat what you hunt. Be legal, be ethical, be safe. Goodbye, God bless, and see you next time. In all of my outdoor books, I teach self-reliance. In fact, that you use the equipment that you have or buy inexpensive products to do what you need to do to get the job done, whether it be muzzleloading, hunting, fishing, or crossbow hunting. My new company, Hovey's Knives of China, will introduce 15 new knives this year at the Blade Show at the Cobb Galleria on June 3 through 5. And I also have a Kickstarter project so you can make advanced orders for these blades and also blanks that you can grind and finish yourself. I have a new series of business books under the Profit brand. The first among these is Ideas for New Businesses, Finding Ideas for Your Own Million or Billion Dollar Business. And here's a little blurb about me and about the book. Now, the wood chips and bark lasted long enough to do a small job, but would have had to have been constantly replenished with much bother if you were going to do a serious piece of work. For more information on my books, blogs, and more than 500 videos, you can go to my website, www.hoviesmith.com. Good hunting and good eating from the outdoors. Goodbye and God bless. Our potting soil has been moved over to the work table. And our ribs are ready to flip. Yes. Sir. There we go. A little charred, that's okay. There we go. The flip. Now I now have a, another pan of potting soil ready to go on as soon as these come off. Although they may be, well, not really quite all the way done through. Uh, they're not, they'd be too tough to really chew on. And we're going to get them really, really tender by the time we gnaw on them. Yeah. Although dogs think they're fine right now. As a matter of fact, uh, they say, why are you worrying about cooking these things?